Hello there! I'm Ben. I'm a paleontologist in Museums Victoria and I'm fascinated by the world around us. And today, we're going to be discussing one of the largest marsupial carnivores that ever existed. Phylacaloo. And we're going to start by looking at its crazy ass mythology. When I was a kid growing up in southeastern Australia, I used to hear these terrifying demonic noises from my backyard at night. Yeah, they sounded a little bit like that. Turns out they're just brush tail possums, but it spurred on my imagination like there was nothing else. If you've ever visited Australia before, you'd know of the myth of the drop bear. And in order to tell it, I've got to get into my best Aussie persona. I'll be back. Oh, g'day mate, heard you going for a bit of a gander in the bush, eh? Well, you better be careful with them sheilas up in the treetops, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, you never heard of a drop bear? Well, what they do is they climb right up to the top of the tree. They look a little bit like a koala, but they're not really. They don't have that same big fermenting gut. And they wait for their prey right underneath them. They wait for them wallabies to hop right underneath the tree. And then they jump out and they rip out their throat. <laughs> Thylaca Leo is the stuff of nightmares, and as the very first Australian to enter the continent 50 to 60,000 years ago, they came face to face with this marsupial super carnival. Would you like to see a tooth from Thylaca Leo? Let me a little ride, guys. Come on! Chuff, 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 chuff! Move! Oh, yes, stupid bears! This is the carnassial or premolar of Thylaca Leo. It has an immense cutting surface and looks a little bit like a bolt cutter. Thylaca Leo was part of the mass extinction event that wiped out up to 85% of known Australian megafauna roughly 40 to 50,000 years ago. But they live on in the stories told to gullible Americans of the drop bear. Ben out. What's up y'all, it's your boy Ben. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, hit those buttons. And I have a question for each and every single one of you at home. If you could bring back an extinct animal, why would it be thought like a Leo? Ben out.